It's late, my contacts are sticking to my eyeballs, but I am crazy excited. Oh my God, what just happened at the Sony press conference at E3? With that conference, Sony nailed the last nail in Microsoft's coffin. Okay, I just wanna sit here, make this video, and fangirl out for a second. I'm gonna, of course, make some more detailed informational videos at the end of this week once E3 has passed, but I just had to show my reaction and discuss this whole, the insane, insanely brilliant thing that Sony did at their press conference. Oh my God. Okay, so two things first. There was a lot of trailer footage and a lot of it was bunched together in a really too quick way, but they showed some footage that I have been looking forward to for years. They showed versus Final Fantasy versus footage and I <laughs> Oh my god. Like you guys know I am insane about versus. I've been stalking that game for 4 years. I've been stalking that game since I first heard about it and I thought it was done. I thought it was done. And they finally decided to come out again and say, hey, we're still working on it. It's still happening. And then, right after that, they showed Kingdom Hearts 3 footage. Now, the footage wasn't that impressive. There wasn't really much that they showed. But all they had to do was throw that title out there, uh, Kingdom Hearts 3, and I was sold. I was like, oh my god. Oh my god, I'm freaking out right now, you guys. Kingdom Hearts 3 and Versus are happening, and they're happening soon. And oh my god, excuse my fangirling. Then, then, they save the best for last and announce at the very end that they are not that they are not putting any restrictions on used games that once you buy a game you can do with it whatever the hell you want because that is what ownership is it means that you own it and you can do with it whatever the hell you want and they were like you can do what you want with it and we are not gonna require you to be connected to the internet 24 7 you don't have to check in once every 24 hours and with that they literally burnt Xbox, they murdered Xbox, they murdered Microsoft, and the crowd literally burst into cheers, and there was a crowd of guys in <laughs> literally chanting, Sony, 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 and he just, the, the announcer just smiles, and he's like, huh, that's some good news, isn't it? And he knew, that Sony knew that that was what we wanted to hear, that was Oh my god, brilliant. That was brilliant. They waited till the exact right moment to reveal their console, to reveal all of that crazy stuff about being able to use used games, and I just assumed that because Microsoft was doing it, that Sony must be doing it, that this must be a publisher problem because Microsoft was blaming the publishers. But guess what? Microsoft is developing a console that's for publishers and not for the gamers and sony is like hey we're gonna have they literally said gamers like 500 times in that i know it was a huge pr move that they had literally worked gamers into things that weren't even related to games like when they talked about t tv shows and stuff they'd be like tv shows for the gamers it was a huge pr move but it worked it freaking worked okay because by the time that they actually said that this that that they didn't they're not going to do all the stupid bullshit that Microsoft is doing I was sold so here it is right now officially I okay oh I, I totally forgot I almost forgot to say this not only that the X the PS4 is only three hundred and ninety nine dollars I think it's three hundred and forty nine um, pounds, 399 euros. Okay, it is a hundred dollars less than the Xbox One. Why? Because they freaking love us, that's why. And they realized that they seriously overpriced the PS3. That was like the worst mistake that they made with the PS3. And they're like, hey, we're not gonna make that mistake again. We're gonna make our console affordable so that people buy it. And with that, it is official right now. You've heard it from me. I am buying the PS4 when it comes out, and I have no plans, 
no plans to buy the Xbox. And I am a hardcore Xbox fan. So if you want to know why I'm not buying the Xbox, um, click on my video. I'll put a link at the end of this, at the end of this video. Sorry, I'm forgetting to breathe. <laughs> I am so freaking excited. But uh, I talk about why I'm not buying the Xbox, why I'm pissed off with Microsoft. And if you haven't heard some of the bullshit stuff that they're doing with their console, but yeah, it is very late. Um, I have to watch the rerun of the latest Game of Thrones episode because I missed the finale and I need to watch that. Um, hopefully I'll be watching that by the time this uploads so that you guys don't put spoilers in the comment section. Uh, oh my god, Red Wedding was crazy. It was crazy. But yeah, uh, you expect more videos from me. I'm gonna be making a lot of views. I made one today, earlier today, that has nothing to do with E3. So I might just do that next week. I might upload that next week and then I'll do E3 stuff all throughout this week because that's what's happening right now that's what's exciting and that's yeah so thank you guys so much for watching let me know what you all thought about the announcement i mean how crazy was that for the, for those of you who are watching let me know what you guys thought i'm going to include some of you guys' comments and some of the things that you included in twitter watch with me on twitter so that we can talk while we're watching it and fan out and freak out together tomorrow and throughout this whole week so yeah i should go like i said but this is ridiculous if sony attempts the same thing consoles are done they're done like